Hello YouTubers, today I got something different here. Another phone, yes, for the intercom system. Not just an ordinary phone, but a real vintage. I believe they refer to this as a fancy French phone. Got 50% off of this at an estate sale. And you can tell it's really old because it uses a different type of phone jack. And yes, this phone, this adapter was included. In fact, I'll take it apart right here for you guys. Just got to be careful because I don't want the poor plastic to get brittle. Yes, this is an old phone jack. And I do not have to make any modifications whatsoever. It does work. It works perfect. Which I'm not surprised because, you know, the vintage stuff seems to work better than, you know, stuff today. And then this is just a reel I also got. It's just an extension reel. I don't know if you can hear it. It works. I have my amplifier on. Yes, Northern Telecom PBXs can detect pulses, dial pulse. Dial the UP. Hello, yes, it works. It works with no problems. It is pretty clear for the most part. Vintage electronics on new equipment, including the UPAM. See? It has a satisfying hang up sound too. No, this is not my only new phone. In fact, there's a little picture there. It has a little bit of water damage. This one is made in Italy. It is not made by Western Electric, at least that I know of. If any of you know the brand of this or are familiar with this phone, this particular phone itself, I know there's a whole variety of these out there. A lot of them are, you know, reproduction. But this is not a reproduction set. Thank goodness. I like vintage. But if you know, please let me know. I really want to know a lot about this. But it's in great shape. And also from that same place, I got this. Very vintage, not vintage, but retro AT&T phone. Here's a modern AT&T phone that I got for free a while back. Found it, the pile of stuff out in the street. And yes, I disinfected everything, in case you're wondering. But, it's crazy, right? Look at that old school AT&T. New school AT&T. Now, this is not hooked up. Now, when I got this phone, this phone would not work in fact when I plugged it into the wall it was buzzing through the speaker and the display was like doing some goofy things obviously I knew what it was and I changed a bad capacitor out and it works perfect though for some reason it's pretty loud and this one works pretty good too this almost reminds me of the phones that my local Sears used to have except it wasn't AT&T but it looked kind of similar to this yeah, it works beautifully. See? Original power supply, of which this is actually permanently connected to this phone. And all I have to tell you guys is, if you're going to buy one of these vintage, not vintage, but retro AT&T phones, because this is not vintage. Especially these 1830 phones, if you stumble across these and it does not work, it's easy to repair. There's usually one big capacitor in there that, you know, dries up due to all the diodes and the tran because there's a big old transistor up, up on the top and, you know, that's where all the heat's concentrated. So dry the, elect the electrolyte out. Now, see how yellow this phone is? It is very brittle. So you're gonna, I was extra careful not to break too many things in there. There was a few little things I broke inside, but... I was mostly able to put it back together, so if you ever come across this, something like that, be careful if you're going to repair it. You got so much stuff here, more speakers. These are not 70 volt speakers, these are just regular stereo speakers. Amplifier, CD player, my speakers I built. We have a vintage Magnavox speaker. Lots of stuff, even this receiver alone. 
Got so much stuff. Even film projectors, you guys. Which unfortunately they have problems. Even a real to little real to real tape player down there. Yeah, I got so much stuff. Yeah, I've been going to estate sales quite a bit lately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini video here. Please let me know, like those of you that are very familiar with these, please let me know like about this type of phones because I really like this. They're usually expensive at Brass Armadillo, but I got this one for cheap because nobody bought it. So, stay tuned for more.